And so the very first video editor that I used was Windows Movie Maker. And I was using this in Windows XP, which is what I still have right here. And I think for many people who were in this era, this is probably the very first video editor as well. And later on, a lot more powerful video editors like Adobe Premiere came out. And then that really became the standard for a lot of people. And even though I did use Adobe Premiere early on, I didn't use it that much. I always came back to Windows Movie Maker. But it wasn't until I changed my operating systems from Windows over to Linux or GNU Linux for all the peers out there. And currently I am using Linux Mint. I have been using this distro for years now, and this has been my primary operating system for more than 10 years. And I absolutely love using Linux. And because of this, I actually started using more open source software. So if you're not familiar with what that means, basically the code and programming is put out in the open for people to see, modify and improve, and then they put that back out in the community. And so a lot of you are probably using open source software. You just don't know that you're using it. And most open source software is normally free, but not always. And because of that, I discovered this really amazing video editor called open shot. And whenever I started using this, this basically became the main video editor that I actually use and I learned from the most. And then that got me into other open source video editors, Caden Live, which is honestly still my favorite overall. And then Shotcut, which is continually getting better and better over time. And if you are somebody who's thinking about using video editors and you want a free and open source option, then I would say these three are probably going to be the ones that you're going to use. And in my opinion, you know, Caden Live and Shotcut is probably where you want to spend most of your time. But out of all these open source video editors, and there's many more besides these three, should you spend time to learn these video editors? Well, back in the day, whenever I was using these exclusively, I would say, yeah, learn how to use these open source video editors because they are available on all major operating systems. So Linux, Windows, and Mac, uh, but the version that typically works the best is on Linux. And then second to that is Microsoft Windows. And so there's really no excuse for you not to use these because they are free and open source. But nowadays in our modern times, and especially since I've used these for so many years and tried other video editors, I don't know if it's really worth learning these if you actually want to, you know, get more serious about video editing. And honestly, even if you're just starting out, all of these video editors take time to learn. And what has been the big difference that's actually made me change my mind about learning these open source video editors? Well, the main program is DaVinci Resolve. Now, I do use DaVinci Resolve. I run this in Windows and I have used the free version, but now I use the paid studio version. And so the reason why I say DaVinci Resolve is pretty much going to change a lot of what uh, people think about video editing whenever they're thinking about learning how to use this. And then what they're going to use for the long term is for the simple fact that Blackmagic makes this free. And this free version, in my opinion, is still better than all the other video editors that I use, even if you have to pay for stuff like Adobe Premiere or Apple Final Cut Pro. And then whenever you go up to DaVinci Resolve Studio, it just gives you a lot more pro features. However, for like 95% of people out there, you could do just fine using the free version. And the reason why I say, if you are gonna be learning how to do video editing, I would highly recommend that you probably look at using DaVinci Resolve first. And the reason why I say that is over time, as you're using these open source video editors, as great as they are, at a certain point, you will hit a limit, especially if you want to do more professional video editing. And if you do decide to go pro, well, you're going to have to learn another video editor. And more than likely, it's going to be Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, or Apple Final Cut. And out of all those three, in my opinion, DaVinci Resolve is probably going to be the best one for the vast majority of people for the simple fact that first it is free. There's a free version that works for most people out there. Plus, with all the pro features that it has, even using the free version, you really won't find anything out there 
in the open source video editor world that's going to match that. And at the same time, if you start by using something that's more advanced and that's used by industry leading professionals and big Hollywood studios, if ever you do decide to go pro, then you don't really have to relearn something because you are already using a pro level video editor. And so those are my thoughts on whether or not you should learn open source video editors. And once again, I really do love using these and the simple fact that it's free and available on multiple platforms makes it a really option to use and try. But I would say the time that it takes to learn how to use these video editors, how to master them, I think it's better off that you start with something that's gonna really serve you for the long term. But you could always still use these if you want. I mean, I still use these, but for me, I would say your time getting better and then becoming pro <laughs> in your own levels, it's well worth for you to invest that time in using something that's really going to be beneficial for you for the long term. So DaVinci Resolve is the one that I recommend. And even though this is available on multiple platforms, including Linux, the Linux version, it's really made for CentOS or CentOS. And so if you're not using that, then you're much better off using DaVinci Resolve in Microsoft Windows or Apple Mac, at least right now. So if you actually had any thoughts on any of these open source video editors or whatever video editor that you're using, be sure to leave in the comments air below. And if you did want to see my tutorials on any of these open source video editors or DaVinci Resolve, I have playlists for all of these. I will leave it in the description air below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on another episode. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below.